welcome back to my channel. My name is Amber and this is Fabricating Fringe. Um, I'm so happy you guys are here so you can see this beautiful color on this beautiful wig from Tresseller Wigs. I am thrilled to try this hair out because I have not tried this style before and I have not tried this color either because it's actually a new color. So let's talk about this. This beautiful blonde wig is called Picture Perfect and I think that's exactly what we got going on here like it is it it is picture perfect it's like the picture perfect long bob picture perfect lob that we have right here i love this style this is described as a lob or long bob i think it's a little bit longer than that but i don't know um what do you guys think i guess it could be different on every head shape and size I, I kind of have a longer face um, and I, st I still feel like it has some length. So it's, you know, quite a bit below the collarbone and I love how sleek this style is. So this color, by the way, is 613 slash 101001 slash R18. Um, this color is beautiful. Let's talk about the color first and then we will move on to the specifics of picture perfect all right so I couldn't find a lot of information online about this color because it is new but I love this blonde I absolutely love it so what you got going on is the R18 which is at the end of the code and that is your root of um, color 18 and R18 is what I consider a very dark dark blonde or very light brown um, especially in contrast to such a light blonde um, people will automatically think these are brown roots, but I think the description of number 18 is actually, um, a dark blonde. I feel like this is like my natural hair color. This, this right here, which I, I always described as like a dirty blonde, um, like an ashy blonde, um, a dark blonde kind of where, you know, people's hair that's blonde and then it starts going darker. Um, that's what I see within this root. Um, it's not like exceptionally warm. I think it's a perfect contrast next to this blonde color and they blend it. They feather it out so beautifully into the rest of this blonde. I mean, it's just, they do such a fantastic job with that root. It looks so good. And then also, um, one thing that sometimes scares me with dark roots or dark wigs is it making the front lace line like really naughty looking. And even with this dark root, I feel like the the lace front on this here picture perfect wig looks really good. And I think it's because they have a little bit of that dark root, but then they also have some of those blondes intermixed in that very front um, lace line. So I feel like that that lace looks really good right up front. I really think they did an impeccable job with the color though. It's such a beautiful color. So you do have that that darker root, which is kind of like a lighter brown in comparison to, or I don't know, dark blonde in comparison to some of the darker rooted colors that are available. Um, but in contrast to the blonde, like I said before, um, there's such a, a stark difference between how light um, and how dark that it seems like it's dark, but it's actually your lighter, your lighter brown or dark blonde, and it's fairly neutral in color. I wouldn't say it's necessarily ashy, um, but it definitely isn't like exceptionally warm. I do like that though with this root because I think sometimes if you get too um, warm of roots. I feel like it, it throws off kind of like a hot root look. Um, like when you go get your hair done and the roots weren't supposed to be as warm as they came out. I don't know, even know if that makes sense. But anyway, I just basically I'm blabbing away trying to get across that. I think that they did a fantastic job, not only with the distribution of the root, the way it feathers out, but also just the color. It looks really, really good. Um, and then what you have is your 613 101. And what I see here is just a very creamy platinum blonde. 
Um, it, it's so, so pretty. So you have that very, very light platinum. And then what it looks to me is like a little bit of, um, a little bit of like a creamy, a creamy yellowy blonde intermixed with the platinum to kind of, uh, just make it not look so pure white, if that makes sense. And so the, the combination of the two just softens up um, the platinum just a bit um, and and makes the, the overall color of that blonde just so beautiful, especially with that root. I, I really love this color. Um, for winter, I feel like if you do still wear blondes through the winter, a lot of people will... Um, kind of go into the warmer tones. They'll go um, to brunettes and things like that. Um, if you wear the blondes, this is really pretty. I feel like I look like a, an ice queen <laughs> wearing this blonde and I just think it's gorgeous. So anyway, um, that is the beautiful blonde 613-1001 slash R18. Now let's move on to Picture Perfect. I love this style. I'm going to repeat myself way too much, but I really do love this style. Um, as you can see, this beautiful Picture Perfect is sleek. She has a sleek wig with layering, kind of choppy looking to me. Um, but it's not so choppy that it looks extremely edgy, although I think you could probably piece it out with some product. You could put some wig wax on this on this style and really kind of give it some definition but honestly um, even sleek lobs you can wear and make it look glam as you can see but you can definitely add some you know uh, product and make it more you know like I mentioned pieced out more edgy looking um, there's the sky's the limit with these styles it's not just because you have a curly wig that doesn't mean it's glam I mean Either way, you can work it however you'd like. And I love that about alternative hair because there are so many options and so many styles and you can basically pull out your alter ego based on the style and the color and how you wanna wear it um, with your clothing choices and everything. So it just adds that extra um, level of personality and um, preference to your your ways of getting ready and it's so much fun. Basically with Picture Perfect, you have this silky straight lob. That's that's pretty much it in a nutshell, but it's lovely. So let's do a full turnaround so you can see these layers um, and this lob from all angles. I feel like the fibers look and feel wonderful straight out of the box. I did wear this out and about today and um, I feel like it looked wonderful, um, brand new. So I love that about Tressler and their fibers. Uh, their synthetic hair looks and feels just absolutely amazing. Another thing that you have with this beautiful Picture Perfect is the layers um, kind of graduate into the longer length and they, they do a beautiful job kind of framing the face. Um, these layers, see how that kind of tapers down and then gets to the longer length. Um, they, they're just so pretty the way that it's kind of choppy but graduates into the rest of the length. Um, you just have that collar length fringe right here. Um, and I just think it's really pretty. This beautiful wig features the Tressler Sheer Comfort Mono Lace Front. Um, like I mentioned, this lace front looks really, really good. Um, I'll give you guys a closer look of this lace front when I take this wig off. I do want to point out that this lob is different because they have special hand knotting at the top and hairline and feathered layers for a high style lob without the weight that, that usually is associated with longer wigs. So, you know, those who wear longer lengths, sometimes you do have that weight and that bulk and this hairstyle um, has, you know, a decent amount of hair. So you're not going to go out looking stringy but it's not wiggy. It looks wonderful. The layers look fabulous and it's not, you know, it's not too bulky. You have length, 
but it's not extremely bulky and I do love that because it has more of a natural feel and a very realistic look as well. Okay, let's take this beautiful Picture Perfect off and show you guys the underside of the cap construction. So I already did mention the lace front, this undetectable hairline. Um, it's one and one fourth inches and it looks awesome. You can wear the hair off the face, um, you can style it however you'd like. I mean, of course it does have that beautiful fringe that frames the face so you can kind of have it sweeping across the forehead. Um, in fact, you could probably have somebody customize it if you like more of a side swept bang. Um, but because of that gorgeous lace front, you can pull it away from the face and it looks incredible. And then you have that mono top that's hand tied. It's sheer, soft, hand tied, knotted mesh. Um, this gives you great comfort. And also since it is individually hand tied, it looks like the hair is growing out of your scalp. You can part it all over the place and um, it's like parting hair, you know, growing off the top of your head. Um, that also allows for all that multi-directional parting ability um, and creative styling and you name it. The remaining area of this cap is open wefted. It gives you great airflow, um, great ventilation, keeps you nice and cool. You have your velvet ear tabs with the bendable wire. And then you have your adjustable closures at this velvet nape um, that allows you to loosen and tighten this wig and make it more secure and fit your head more true to size. Now take a look at this color up close and personal. I do have a ring light. I don't have any other lights on in here but the ring light and then I do have some outside light, natural light coming in. And I would say this is pretty um, accurate as far as color um, on this video. At least I feel like it does. But do take note that every screen, every monitor, every phone will portray the color differently. So checking out various reviews, photos, that may help you to get a better idea of, of whatever colors you're looking for. But it is so beautiful. That rooting looks amazing. And you can see up close, it does have you know a lighter shade to it, but in contrast to this very, very light blonde, um, it does have you know a good, a good contrast. Um, it just looks awesome. It's so pretty. I do like the shape of this wig. It's so pretty with that sleek, silky look. It looks very just sophisticated. It can look glamorous. Um, like I mentioned, it could look edgy. Um, it just, you can wear a straight sleek wig. Um, any age, any style, you can get away with wearing a length and um, texture like this. Um, anyway, very comfortable wig. This is average in size. I fit average in the majority of wig brands and this fits me really well, snug yet comfortable. Okay, let's put this back on. Earlier, I did put a cute clip in this hair because the lace front looks impeccable. So yes, pulling off the face is so doable with this style and it looks fantastic. But anyway, let's talk about the lengths um, of this wig and get you all those details. So the total hair length of Picture Perfect is six to 16 inches. So clearly that shows you, tells you that it is layered. Your fringe is 11 inches. The crown on Picture Perfect is 14 and one half inches and your nape is 10 inches. So I did mention the cap size being average and that is 21 and a half inches for those who are wondering. And to be honest with you, if you're wondering what, what my head circumference is, that's exactly what I am, um, right, right around 21 and a half inches. Um, I, like I mentioned, I wear average in pretty much everything and this fits me really, really well. I would dare say that this, this here average size picture perfect wig is true average in size. The total weight of this gorgeous Picture Perfect wig is 5.29 ounces. 
It feels fantastic. The, not only does it feel silky and soft, but it feels light, it's comfortable. The length is wonderful too, because you do have length. You can do creative styling. You can really, um, if you wanted to, pull it up, put it in a clip, uh, you could braid it. Um, you have options to do lots of things with this hairstyle because it does have that gorgeous length, but it's not so long that it is in the way. Um, you're not going to deal with a whole lot of friction frizz and some of the tangling that happens with your longer lengths. Um, so I do love more of a mid length to, um, long bob, uh, length on a wig because you still have the ability uh, to utilize the length to create a style and have fun with it um, but it's not it's not over the top it doesn't get in the way you can still function especially for me I'm a mom of five um, I don't I don't always want the hair just the bulk and the length always just in my way so this is this gives me the length and the bulk and the hair that I want that I've never been able to achieve on my own, but it's still convenient, it's still realistic, and it's still, I mean, it looks realistic, um, and it's just really um, nice. It looks fabulous as well. So um, no wonder it's called Picture Perfect. I do believe that it is Picture Perfect. Um, I love this style. I think it would be very, very pretty in a brunette, a red, um, let me know your guys' thoughts. What's your favorite shade in the Tressler line? I'd love to know. Have you tried Picture Perfect? Let me know. Comment below. Um, you guys can actually get a discount over at wigs.com on your Tressler styles. Use the code FRINGE25. I will have that link and that code down below. Um, I want to thank Tressler for the opportunity to try out this beautiful Picture Perfect wig and share my thoughts and review with you guys today. Um, if this was helpful, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And um, again, you guys can head over to wigs.com. They're a great company and you can use that code FRINGE25 for your Tressler wigs um, and things that you might be interested in. Those links will be down below. Please go follow Tressler on Instagram and their social media platforms. I'm over on Instagram as well. And if you guys have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. Um, I'm over on Instagram. You can email me, comment below, and I'll see what I can do. Anyway, thanks again for watching. I appreciate you guys. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Bye.